Hey everybody, so welcome to the our latest What Sold video. Um, this is the first week of September and we're starting off with an eBay sale uh, for $59.99 minus a coupon. I think there was still a coupon going at that point um, from the holiday weekend, the Labor Day weekend. And the brand was a new to me brand. I don't even know if I'm going to say it right, but Tyler Bow, B-O-E. Um, anyway, I noticed it at the thrift store because it was new with tags and the original price was $178 for this faux leather, vegan leather top. And so that sold probably within a couple of weeks. And I think I paid like $4 or somewhere in there. It was half off that day um, and it wasn't marked up too much because the thrift store, I guess, really didn't know the name you know know the brand either and so fortunately they didn't price it too high and so then I got it for a good price and sold it pretty quickly for a good price then the next sale we had on eBay at the beginning this was also on September 2nd I believe let's see we sold some and I'm in a hotel right now as I'm filming and so Hopefully the internet connection will be good enough and not mess us up too much. But I believe someone bought just one, yeah, they bought a pair, another pair of these Dansk Torrens teaspoons for, again, for $59.99. But um, I think, again, the coupon was still going at that point. But still a nice price for um, two teaspoons. Gotta love those kind of flatware sales. This hat, I was with my older son. We were at the our little hat source, which is our bins location, our clearance store. And he noticed this one. He grabbed it. It's like a Teddy Roosevelt Conservation Project hat or something like that. Anyway, that sold really fast for $18.99. So it's always the ones... It's what we were trying to teach our son. <laughs> it's always the ones that are the most random that end up selling the fastest. This sweater I noticed one day in the women's section of Goodwill. Um, I think women's clothes were half off that day, but I just noticed I like the, um, the sweater, the tennis sweater look to this. It has such a unique collar, but it's got those stripes, that V-neck, just very kind of a unique take on the classic kind of tennis sweater look. And the brand was Jaeger, and it's a made in Scotland brand. I mean, I say Jaeger, I don't know, maybe that's not how you're supposed to say it. But anyway, that kind of collegiate, preppy, whatever kind of look can do pretty good. So that sold for $35. Next up was this vintage Woolrich jacket, shirt jacket type thing. It sold for $38.99. And yeah, just kind of heavy duty. Let me see what the tag looked like. Vintage tag, as you can see, white tag. Um, so yeah, that was a good price. Then I already shared the fact that this fork had sold. If you watch the flipping flatware series that I'm doing, we talked about baby and kids flatware. And so this one sold really fast after I listed it for 14 dollars and 99 cents and in comps 15 I think was about right up there is pretty high um, for a for that particular fork and so I sh I just kind of matched that highest price so that sold for fifteen dollars and I don't know what's going on with eBay with this hurry before it's gone, other people bought this, one has already sold. I don't know what they're doing, because I'm like, it's not, it's not multi-quantity, but like every single listing has that on it. But I assure you, these did sell. <laughs> these have sold, these are not currently listed. Okay, so I don't even know how to say the name of this company, Kakik, Sasik. You can tell me in the comments below. But anyway, this was just an experiment with um, plus size 
larger size cup bras. Um, I knew this brand could do pretty well. You know, it's a bread and butter type thing. And so I just kind of happened to come across this one and on like half off day or yeah, I think it was a half off day. So I just paid a couple bucks for it. I sold it for $18, but it sold pretty quickly. So it was kind of an experiment to see if that was a, like a niche, niche, sorry, <laughs> that I wanted to get into at all. I guess it can't hurt to just kind of keep your eye out for bigger size bras. I think is, you know, besides certain brands, some of the bigger size bras can actually do pretty well, but I'm still learning in that category. This Le Creuset mini oval casserole dish sold for $24.99. Um, I had gotten this one and a green one like at the same time for like 99 cents each or $1.99 each. I can't remember. But then um, the green one sold pretty fast. This one took a little bit longer. So that one was uh, $24.99. But not, I don't think we had any coupon or anything going. Just a fun beanie. Got picked up at our favorite little hat spot. Sold for $24.99. Sock Monkey. Everybody loves Sock Monkey. Next up is a kind of going out of season uh, type of blazer. It was a linen blend. So linen can do really good in like spring and summer. But, um, you know, there's a lot of people who live in warmer climates and the color definitely would still be working for uh, places that have that, you know, warmer weather is what I'm saying. Okay, the next up is a mug by Anthropology. This I've sold this style Anthropology mug many, many times. It's called Homegrown. Is the and it's it's the monogram mugs the with the initials and things like that. And I've sold, you know, all different letters. But these homegrown ones do pretty well and they sell pretty quickly. And like I said, it sold for $18.99. Why I had a best offer on it, I have no idea. It might have been copied from another um, listing that we had done. So this is the mark on the bottom of these anthropology mugs. It's this little bird, kind of like a little drawing or sketch of a little bird. So that'll be an anthropology mug um, like mark if you're curious about if you come across that. It had been a little while, but I sold or actually maybe I showed you one last week. Or maybe I sold two, one this week and one the next week. But in any case, I sold a couple of these fairly close together. Um, I think one might be this week and one next week. But Disney Pixar, I had picked up, if you had seen these in my What Solds before, I picked up a whole roll, a whole roll, a whole, yeah, what do you call that with the fabric on the cardboard? <laughs> Anyway, it's yardage of these panels and I just cut, we cut them off when they sell. So I've already sold quite a few of these and I paid like six or seven dollars for the whole, man, bolt, bolt. That's the word that was not coming to my head. Now we have had this next shirt like forever, but it was not listed. It was just in our to be listed pile for so long. And the brand is Au Noir, and it's so funny because, so it's like a Robert Graham type thing when I picked it up like uh, so long ago, that was kind of the idea. Maybe I looked up the brand at the time, but it had been there so long, and as Mr. Pishposh was kind of trying to catch up on some stuff that's just been sitting, he pulled this one out, and I was like, okay, just look it up and make sure it's worth even listing like we picked this up so so long ago so i was just like make sure you know this is still worth it so he did he didn't realize that it was a flip cuff like the other robert graham so when he first photographed it it didn't he didn't include or like highlight that flip cuff part of it so we put it in the title he read you know he tweaked the listing and it did sell like in a week or so for like 30 bucks. And I was like, all right, I'll take that. So au noir, I don't know. Flip cuff is still a thing. Here's the sweater. I already talked about this in other videos, but this was the 
uh, totem Cowichan style sweater that was, uh, you know, personalized to our local high school, but that sold for four hundred dollars. And then the same day that sold, we also sold these earrings, which I've had for a little bit, Kendra Scott. Um, you know, when you feel those, like there's some designer stuff that you're just like, you get it and you're like, oh, it's really nice. That really makes sense. But like these Kendra Scott earrings are like, can sell for a good price. They sell pretty high. They sold for like $60. I mean, I'm not seeing that I took an offer or anything like that. So anyway, 60 bucks for those. I had been offering to people, making offers, but um, it uh, nobody, you know, nobody had taken my earlier offers or anything like that. And that was another one. Why is it saying or best offer? Are they all saying that now? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so in any case, 60 bucks for those Kendra Scott earrings. I knew Kendra Scott jewelry was a thing. Um, I know it was faked a lot and everything, but having it on the card and everything, ma you know, made made it me feel a little more confident in them. And yeah, they sold for a nice price. And then what do they say? Third time's a charm. Here's that Escada belt again. <laughs> I think it has sold and come back twice. I think it's just smaller than people are thinking, right? Like it's a small belt. It's for a very tiny waisted person. Um, but the second time it came back, I did notice there was some wear along the edges. So I'm wondering if the person just wore it and then returned it, like wore it for a, an event or a function or something like that and then returned it. But we kind of touched up the black again and then relisted it. And this one sold, we took an offer for $79 on that. And I haven't heard anything, so hopefully it stays sold. And then this big lot of hair curler, perm rod type stuff, I kind of mixed it. I had got it at our little local bins, thrift place, um, clearance center, and it was all in one big box. And then I might have added a few things that I had picked up another time at the same place. So we just sold the whole big lot for $30 plus shipping. And then the last one on eBay for that week were these dance plates. The pattern is called Mesa and they, they come in different colors, but I had noticed when I was researching at the store that the turquoise ones seemed to do the best. So I only bought the two turquoise dinner plates. There were some navy blue ones and things like that. And I only bought those two and then these sold. It took a couple months, but they sold for $40 for the two plates. Over on Posh, there really wasn't much happening on the other sites. Like there's just a handful of sales on each of the other sites. But Poshmark had this, um, I've had this listed for a long time. I had two or three of them and had sold one a long time ago. And then this one sold. I just took a $12 offer for this Vera Bradley double eyeglasses case. Just, you know, it's padded, but it was new with tags. And then this crazy thing we sold for $20. It's like a fitted camera case that you keep your zoom lens or your telephoto lens on it. It looks like something homemade that somebody made to fit their particular camera, but it came in that big lot of camera stuff that Mr. Pish Posh got at our clearance center. Um, so all of that has been profit for a long time now. We sold these Keen shoes. Um, they were just a men's nine and a half, but they sold for $61, which was pretty good. And then this came from my closet. It was, the brand is Tahari. It was the T Tahari label. Um, it's velvet. I'll show you the, the thing was just that, right? The label. Um, I had it in my personal closet for a while. I thrifted it obviously a while back, but um, it was like a purple velvet with silver buttons and I just didn't end up wearing it as often as I thought I would. So I threw a bunch of keywords on it and it sold pretty quickly on Posh for $35. Over on Depop, we sold this military, like Swedish military hat um, with these ear, you know, it can come down and cover your ears, 
Army Green sold that on Depop for $25. And then the other sale on Depop was this 90s um, NASCAR hat with Taz on it. I got this, I think, at a yard sale or something like last year, maybe the year before. It's one of our longest listed hats. Um, I just thought it was too cool with Taz, Looney Tunes, NASCAR, all that, but it took forever. So $19 on Depop with no fees, so that's nice. Speaking of no fees, we have Mercari. This buckle just sold for $12. You know, nothing special to it. Came at, picked it up at a yard sale the same time we picked up a few other buckles. Then this... I picked up one day Eddie Bauer premium goose down women's green hooded puffer vest women's large this year when I just started to look at um, winter clothing for this upcoming season I came across this vest and um, Eddie Bauer goose down can do pretty good it's a nice solid you know bread and butter you know, not crazy high prices, but if you stay right in that like $35, $40, $45 range for the Eddie Bauer stuff. And then the fur around the hood always helps too. So that sold on Mercari for $39. Over on Ruby Lane, we sold. I sold this scarf I picked up at an estate sale. I recognized the kitties as Laurel Birch. That sold for $14. And then also on Ruby Lane, I sold this uh, bracelet for $35 that was sterling the brand was Elko and it's a charm bracelet but I just use like starter like a starter bracelet you know it's basically it's just the bracelet and then you add all the charms to it then over on Etsy let's see what we've got a mug a lot of our mugs are selling on Etsy right now in the other shop that the Mr. Pish Posh runs. Um, he cross posts our mugs into there and we get pretty good prices for mugs, vintage mugs over there. So this was like a diner mug, a uh, hotel wear kind of thing. So it was Fry's Hot Chocolate. And I did have this one for a while, I think just kind of in my to-do pile and finally got it going. I thought it was really cool because I love restaurant wear. I think it's so cool. Anyway, $35 for that. Then he also sold a camera for $49.99 on Etsy. And he sold salt and pepper shakers. These Danish modern for $24.99. I, I recently picked those up and I can't remember what thrift store or when it was, um, but we sold those for 25 And then he sold this vase. Uh, it's a Ken Edwards vase. We just hadn't gotten her. We kept it for a while on display, but it's got the KE Ken Edwards Mexico mark right on it, and it was a good size vase. Well, seven and a half inches. It wasn't huge, but anyway, I'm going to pause it for a second because I realized I don't have... I gotta see if I sold any sewing patterns. I think I forgot to get those tabs set up, so hold on one second. Okay, now we've got it set. So we sold this six, this uh, pattern, another 90s Vogue pattern by Ann Klein for $16. And then this one was, I think they used maybe a coupon for like an abandoned cart kind of thing. So just 10% off of that, but so 31 ish dollars for this Issy Miyake. I think I said last week, it's my favorite Vogue pattern to find. Um, but then, and it had been listed for a long time. I think I had the price too high. It was just kind of stale. So I had ended it, relisted it, dropped the price a little bit, and then it, it sold really quickly after that. Then this Simplicity, um, pattern it was a unisex pullover tunic top just sold for 10 but the same buyer also bought this dkny another 90s vogue pattern for 22 dollars and another 90s pattern calvin klein vogue 20 dollars for that pattern so as i have said the pattern sales are picking up a little bit and 
when we get back from our trip, I'll be working with my oldest son on getting some drafts made, and we'll probably have a video about that as well. So I hope you guys are doing good. I hope your sales are um, holding steady, getting better as fourth quarter marches on. Are we in fourth quarter yet? No, that would be October, right? But we're getting closer, so just the change of seasons and fall and everything like that, sales should be doing a little bit better, hopefully for, your, for everyone. I will talk to you guys later on, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. If I can do a flatware Friday video for Friday, I will try to do that. If not, flatware Friday will resume next week.